Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Elliot here, bringing some much needed relief to those struggling with the annoying iPhone locked to owner message, also known as the iCloud activation lock. Now I know how frustrating it can be. You get a new device, or maybe you're dealing with a secondhand one, and bam, you're hit with this message, leaving your iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch about as useful as a brick. But worry not. In today's video, we're diving deep into multiple methods to tackle and remove this obstacle. And yes, all the tricks we're sharing are totally on the legal up and up. So stay tuned and unlock the full potential of your Apple device. This info is for people who own their devices but forgot their access details. Please use these tips honestly and not on devices that aren't yours. We respect rules and everyone's rights and we follow YouTube's guidelines. Okay, let's get started. Today, we're diving straight into some fantastic services that will make the iCloud unlock process a breeze. Have you ever stumbled upon an iPhone that's stubbornly clinging to its previous owner's details? It's like the device is holding onto the past and won't let you in. Super frustrating, right? So here are a few lifesavers in the form of unlocking services that come highly recommended. Locked to owner, iUnlock app, safe unlocks, and Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. These tools are like tech wizards, each having its unique way of setting your device free, making them some of the best options out there for getting past that irksome iPhone lock to owner message. But hey, this isn't just about listing services. We're here for some real educational moments. These services don't just unlock your device, they guide you through the process, making you more knowledgeable about the ins and outs of device unlocking. Stay tuned, as coming up next, we're gonna delve into the nifty features of Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. So stick around to explore more. Just a quick note, the unlock services mainly operate in first world countries. If accessing these services is a challenge or maybe they're just not your cup of tea, don't worry. We've got something special for you. We're giving away 250 unlocks every week to our awesome viewers. Want to snag one? It's easy. Just hit the like button on this video, subscribe to our channel and drop a comment below with your device's model like iPhone 8, IMI number, and your country. That's it. You're automatically entered as soon as you complete these steps. Good luck. First, start by opening a browser on your phone or computer and head over to unlockhere.com. This site features an AI assistant, Nifty, who's there to help unlock any mobile phone restrictions you're facing. Once there, let Nifty know you need an iCloud unlock. You do this by clicking on Activation Lock. You'll then choose the device you're unlocking. In this case, select iPhone, but options for iPad and Apple Watch are also available. Next, you'll need to enter the IMEI or serial number of your device iPhones have IMIs, but for iPads and Apple Watches, you might use a serial number instead, especially if they don't have a SIM card slot. To find this info, press the sleep button on your locked device, press it again, and tap on the I on the bottom right. This will show your device info. Once you have that information, input it into the corresponding field. Moving on, enter some basic info to link the order to your account. Make sure this info is accurate so you can receive your order confirmation as you'll receive a confirmation code via email that you'll need to proceed. Now be sure to check the box to agree to the terms and please only proceed if you're not attempting to unlock a stolen device. Before you continue, don't forget to click I'm not a robot and complete the quick CAPTCHA. After that, click start process and just like that, you're on your way. Check your email for the confirmation code and remember to peek in your spam or junk folder just in case it ends up there. Once you've received the code, enter it back on unlock here. Then shortly after, prove that you're not a robot and make sure to tap the button to validate the information. And just like that, the unlocking magic begins. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. If you're dealing with a locked device, there are a couple of paths you can follow. 
to unlock it. Let's get into the details. Firstly, consider reaching out to Apple support. Having the original invoice of your device is crucial here. It acts as a proof of purchase, showing that you are the legitimate owner. Simply contact Apple support, share the invoice, and explain your situation. They'll verify the details. And if everything checks out, they'll assist in removing the lock from your device. Another route is resetting the Apple ID directly on Apple's website. For this, go to the Apple ID account page and click on Forgot Apple ID or Password. Follow the on-screen instructions. You might need to confirm your identity by answering security questions or using two-factor authentication, depending on your account settings. Once you've confirmed your identity, you'll get the option to reset your password, allowing you to set up a new Apple ID and remove the lock from your device. Remember, ensuring that you follow each step carefully will make the unlocking process much smoother. Stay tuned for more helpful tips coming your way. So another way to tackle the lock on your device is by using iCloud Unlock software. However, there's a catch. You'll need a Windows computer to use this method, which might not be accessible to everyone. If you choose to go down this road, you'll first need to get your hands on unlocking software. There's a bunch available out there, but be cautious because many of them don't actually do the job. And here's a crucial tip. Always be on the lookout for malware when downloading software. You want to unlock your device, not invite unwanted viruses. An alternative and often safer route is using online services like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks. What makes these options stand out is that they don't require you to download anything, making the process a bit more secure and straightforward. Keep this in mind as you decide which unlocking method is the best fit for your needs. Here's another practical method to remove the iPhone locked to owner message from your device, especially handy if the seller is responsive. Ask the previous owner to help you by following a few simple steps online. Their cooperation can make the process smooth and efficient. Here's what they need to do. First, direct them to visit iCloud.com and log in using their iCloud credentials. Once logged in, they should click on Find iPhone. In this section, they will find the option to select the device that's locked. After they've located and selected the device, instruct them to click on Erase. Doing this will reset the device, clearing the existing ownership details. Lastly, to make sure the device is completely detached from their account, they should click Remove from Account. These actions are crucial as they can significantly help in restoring your iPhone's full functionality, freeing it from the previous owner's iCloud lock. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for sticking with us till the end. We hope you got what you need 